Senator Fatima Payman has quit the Labor Party but will remain in the Upper House representing WA on the crossbench. The defection follows her crossing the floor on a motion on Palestinian statehood last week. The senator says she faced death threats and intimidation while weighing up her political future. After days of speculation and what she says was a lot of soul searching, Senator Fatima Payman confirmed she is leaving the Labor Party. I'm torn, deeply torn. Speaking to Sky News, the senator said it's been a difficult decision but also hard to deal with death threats as a result. It's been quite a challenging time for me to console the family but at the same time ensure my staff and team were OK. It's been, it's been rough. It makes the equation a little bit more difficult for Labor in the Senate to get support. She says she will not vote with her party but treat every vote as an individual decision. You'll probably vote with them most of the time. Oh, we'll have to see. It's really hard to tell without seeing the piece of legislation right. that the party will So to vote by vote thing yes. for you from now on. OK. She justified crossing the floor as not only the right thing to do, but what the Labor Party National Conference agreed to do back in 2023. Bill Shorten disagrees. It was a clear mandate from our rank and file members and unionists and members uh, for us to consider that. So for me, you know, it was a matter of if not now, then when. Is that accurate in your view? As part of a two-state solution. So not, not just a I, I don't step. accept her interpretation of the party platform, no. The Cabinet Minister also taking issue with this comment from the Senator's press conference. Unlike my colleagues, I know how it feels to be on the receiving end of injustice. She's got her truth. But just as she wouldn't say people should deny her truth, she shouldn't deny other people's truths. The Prime Minister has indicated he believes Fatima Payman was long planning this for at least several weeks. But she says her meeting with Glenn Drury before she crossed the floor was not because she'd already made her mind up. Everyone knows Glenn Drury in right. WA. Um, and so when this came up um, as an opportunity to talk to somebody who is a political strategist, and I've spoken to other political strategists, I but guess... I've had so many conversations. This was just one of them. Right, I guess Labor MPs are going, well, hang on, she was planning this. She met with Glenn Drury. No, Why I else would don't... you meet him? No, I don't think that they can make that conclusion just from one meeting. While this does mean for now at least just one more Senate vote to get for Labor, it will be keeping its eye on this new Muslim Votes group, which is set to target Labor in some of its safe seats. Fatima Payman has met with the group once, but is non-committal on whether she'll help them going forward. Tom Connell, Sky News, Canberra.